What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comments section below. But in today's Division 2 video, I'm going to tell you to go to Descent right now and defeat the Nemesis. For some reason, I did that today. And I died on some BS, whatever, afterwards. But because I defeated the Nemesis and completed the weekly project, instead of it just giving me one recording, well, let, let me just show you what happened. Easy peasy. I mean, if it's going to be this easy, I might as well just do a descent stream and just see how far we go today because this is a good build. Oh, shock ammo. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, revive five. No, I'm good, I'm good. All right, use my medi, okay. Oh, oh, the medi didn't work! The medi didn't work! What the, what? What? Dude, the freaking med kit is bugged in descent. Like, come on, fix your, ah. I mean, at least I took out the nemesis. All right, whatever, we, we got our calm. I believe this is uh, number 50, so we're going to be a couple short, but uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I get a reconstructed cache? Exotic? No, I get an exotic, yeah. Facility oh, detected. what's this? Combat simulation Collectible program. subset completed. Yo, did it just give me all of them? I mean, it said it was the last week for the season. Hold on. No, it's not accommodations. Collectibles. There we go. Dude, it gave me all of them. Yes. Yes. I've completed the descent comms. Let's go, dude. Let's go. All right. I It just dawned on me that because I completed this subset, I might be one of the first few people that have all 52 recordings. So let me, um, uh, I guess, reveal to you the last three recordings. They're all very short but they're all connected. Now they did show up in different areas. I think um, I will show the footage of me getting these collectibles that they showed up in different areas of the folder, okay? So if I go to collectibles, go to my comms, I am now completely done with Descent. Now the thing was is I got this one terminated, this one pitch, and then at the very bottom, I received Field Test 50 Cal. And if you play all three of these together, they go pretty close hand in hand. Now, just a reminder, um, from 50 and 51, they started introducing uh, Anna, okay? Uh, Claire Ortiz made Anna. Uh, Anna is the more, I guess, uh, personalized AI with a lot of attitude and, um, well, here, let me just play it for you. Imagine it. No intel analysts sifting through data. Completely automated. But how would they detect a legitimate threat? With the algorithm. We use keywords, phrases. Okay. But what if you're at the movies and the AI thinks the action on the screen is a real firefight? We use voice recognition and biometrics. We hear the speaker, Anna identifies the speaker, and then does a biometric scan to determine if it's coming from a person or a recording. That's really smart. Thank you. Who's Anna? The AI. So this is where Claire introduces Anna, right? So Anna is able to hear the voice, uh, uh, be able to identify the voice, you know, whoever it is, and then is it a recording of that person or is it the actual person before it determines, you know, hostile intent or whatever. So it was just showing how Anna was uh, a little more in-depth um, than things like, uh, say, Isaac. Now, the uh, next one, they wanted to field test it, right? So... Who they decided to field test it for was Vivian Conley. Now, they tested Anna with Vivian Conley, and they tested the Descent simulation with Brian Johnson. And then that leads us to our last three uh, comms that I received today. First one being terminated. So check this out. 
that you're not interested in renewing my contract. Sure. I understand. And that all the design work that you have created during your tenure here is now property of Ortiz Robotics. You own everything you don't want that sucks and is broken. Goody for you. We own all of the designs, so if elements of your designs are repurposed and used in any other application, you have no intellectual property ownership or claim to any designs that you have worked on during your time at Ortiz Robotics. Okay. This is not exclusive to designs you've submitted for review. This includes designs that you've developed in the last six months on any Ortiz Robotics equipment or on its properties. What do you mean, its properties? Well, since you were living in corporate housing, anything you created in the apartment is also property of Ortiz Robotics. Are you fucking kidding me? I wish I was. You really should have read your contract thoroughly before signing it. If you have an issue with this, you could have voided the clause in Section 9 or found off-campus housing. With what you pay me, off-campus would have meant West Virginia. We wish you great luck in the future and look forward to seeing what you do next. Thank you for all your contributions to Ortiz Robotics. Sure. We're gonna need that watch back. I don't even know where you got one of those. Oh, this? This was a gift from Cal. Pretty sure this belongs to me. Mm, he almost just took her division watch. Um, so... Vivian Conley was testing Anna for Claire Ortiz. She also knew Keener. She also knew uh, Calvin McManus. She said that Calvin gave her a watch. And it's looking as if after testing Anna, Alexander Ortiz uh, fires Vivian Conley altogether, assuming that they're uh, deploying Anna or they're just getting rid of that um, entire testing platform. Now, the next one was pitch. Here's this one. We can't test the system in the open, so we need to come up with a way to simulate battle conditions. What kind of simulation? One that is as realistic as possible for our operators. You mean like a VR simulation? No. Augmented reality, but more realistic. Well, that should be easy enough with the contact lens. Yes, but I want them to feel the hits. If it's just the visual, we won't be able to assess the real stress and pressure on the body. They are talking about giving Isaac to gym teachers in Missoula. I want to know how they would react in a real combat situation. You want them to feel pain? Yes. People in pain will react in unpredictable and dangerous ways. I want to know what these ops will do when they are really in pain and afraid before I give them live rounds. Cold-blooded. Um, I'm not sure why it gave me these two comms up top, terminated and pitch, and then it gave me this one down low, but it did, and they're all connected. So we were going on with Anna, and we found out that Anna, right here, Anna's first test was with Vivian Conley, and then going up here to terminated, terminated, Vivian Conley gets fired, and then pitch, they are pitching to uh, Calvin McManus the simulation um, NSA test in Descent and that they want suits that the agents can really feel what's going on. Now this leads us to the very last test. Watch this. This one's good. This one's good. How did it feel, agent? Good. Really good. Much easier to get in than I expected for a full body suit. We've installed a cooling and heating system, recirculating your perspiration to maintain optimum temperature inside the suit. An uncomfortable agent is a dead agent. That's a good one. I'll have to remember that. How's the pain threshold? Can't really say. Use your cover, make sure the hostel can't hit you. Don't act like an idiot trying to get shot and you won't feel the pain. I see the potential here, Claire. But Brian might be too good for your little test. Damn, that fucking hurts! The test isn't over. Thank you for your feedback, Agent Johnson. <laughs> so, so anyways, um, what we got out of the last bit of these comms was that uh, Anna was tested by Vivian Conley. They completed whatever test for Anna. 
Um, Anna gets shipped off. Vivian Conley gets fired. Thank you for all your service. See you later. And then they develop the Descent NSA testing simulation. Those Descent outfits that we have, those are those outfits that Brian Johnson here was testing out. Now, remember that Agent Brian Johnson ends up being the recruiter, Hunter. So just remember that. Brian Johnson here tested out Descent and all of that, and later on became the recruiter, and we took him on you know, in a season past. Um, but that's it. That is the end of the Descent comms, as far as we know. They might add more come next season, and, you know, year six, season one is right around the corner. And there you have it. I was able to complete the entire collection uh, for the Descent comms, all 52 comms. And I even let you listen to the last few comms that I received, and we even uh, broke down exactly what they detailed. So I hope you enjoy. Please play Descent. Have fun. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you want me to do an entire video just breaking down the entire Descent story, let me know in the comment section below. But that is it for me. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.